Nikolai at World of Cars here. Just completed a full replacement of timing belt and water pump on Mitsubishi Galant 2002, 2.4 engine. And wanted to share with you the main timing belt components that I recommend to change if you do a timing belt replacement, how they work and what they do. Also show your timing marks, where and how they should be aligned, and in general, how it all supposed to look. Hopefully someone will find this video useful and helpful and use it as a reference in their future projects. Crankshaft, crankshaft sprocket that actually turns the timing belt itself. Behind there is a crankshaft angle sensor blade that goes through the crankshaft positioning sensor that has a magnet. The blade rotates between two magnets, creating an electromagnetic flux, and that's what actually reads RPM in the car. Also behind that blade, there is additional sprocket. Unfortunately, you cannot see it, it's behind the blade, but it's a balance shaft sprocket mounted on the crankshaft. That sprocket turns that little tiny belt over here. That's the balance shaft belt. That is a tiny belt, and based on my knowledge, that belt tends to break first and some of the pieces and debris when it breaks get between the timing belt and the crankshaft sprocket causing the timing belt failure. So if you are replacing timing belt, make sure to always replace the balance shaft belt. It is as important as replacing the timing belt itself. I recommend purchasing a timing belt kit and if you do, the balance shaft belt comes with it. Behind that balance shaft sprocket, there is crankshaft seal. I highly recommend replacing that seal because it tends to wear out over time and leak. And if you got that far into the job, you might do that as well. This is balance shaft sprocket. And behind that sprocket, there is a seal. It's a balance shaft seal that I also highly recommend to replace. Balance shaft sprocket has a timing mark that is supposed to line up right over here. This is the balance shaft tensioner pulley that is included in the timing belt kit and I also highly recommend to replace that. This tensioner pulley gives the tension to the balance shaft belt and picks up all the slack. Back to the crankshaft sprocket. I actually ended up replacing both crankshaft sprocket and angle sensor blade and here's the reason. This is my old crankshaft sprocket and look at its teeth. It would still do the job but it would shorten the life of the timing belt. Also, the angle sensor blade was rubbing against the crankshaft position sensor. And here's the groove, you can see that. You absolutely don't have to change either one of them. It all depends on the condition of the sprocket itself and the blade. But I do recommend replacing the crankshaft position sensor and that's what I did as well. The crankshaft angle sensor blade has timing mark that aligns the crankshaft and it's supposed to align with that notch right over there. That is the second timing mark so far. To the right of the crankshaft, there is an oil pump sprocket and behind this sprocket, there is also a seal. I highly recommend replacing that oil pump seal as well. Oil pump sprocket has timing mark and it's supposed to align with this notch. Going right up. There is a timing belt idler pulley. It comes with the kit, replace it. It helps to reduce the slack on the timing belt and spins the timing belt. To get to it, unfortunately, you would have to take out the power steering pump since it's behind the pump. To the left of the idler, there is a timing belt tensioner pulley and hydraulic tensioner. Both come with the timing belt kit and I highly recommend replacing them both. This is a very nice design in my opinion. So this tensioner pulley picks up initial slack and gives tension to the belt as you replace it. But over time, either the belt stretches out or the tensioner pulley weakens here and gives the weight to slack. Therefore, there is a backup tensioner that has a hydraulic pin in there that pushes up against the tensioner mount that pulls down on the tensioner pulley and picks up any slack that is developed over time. But initially, once you got everything set up, you see this pin right here? You should take that pin out, manually rotate the engine four times to realign all the timing marks again, then wait 15-20 minutes and try to insert that pin into the hydraulic tensioner again. And if you are able to do so, it means you provided correct and adequate initial tension to the belt. If not, then you would have to take that 
hydraulic tensioner out, press the pin down into the original position using the C-clamps, but do it very slowly not to damage the seal inside and provide more tension to the belt by pushing down on this pulley harder, retighten that tensioner pulley and try it again. As you can see, I haven't taken that pin out yet. I will do that shortly, manually rotate the engine. And remember, it's always a good idea to rotate the engine manually before cranking it up to make sure all your timing marks are still aligned. Finally, I'm all the way at the top and here's only one camshaft, camshaft sprocket. Behind the sprocket, there is a seal that I also highly recommend to replace. Camshaft has timing mark and it's supposed to align with that mark on the valve cover. This is the fourth timing mark. And here's the final timing belt component that I would highly recommend also replacing. Water pump. And that concludes all timing belt components that I wanted to show. I've taken that pin completely out. I've rotated the engine four or five times to align all my timer marks. Again, crankshaft, oil pump, balance shaft, and camshaft. And I waited for about 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna try to insert that pin back. And if I can do that, that means I provided the correct and adequate tension all the way in that means my initial tension is appropriate now we are ready to take this pin completely out and crank up the engine Now, it's just a matter of putting everything back together in the reverse order. As you saw, it, it works, it sounds great, and it's alive. If any of you guys need more detailed video or steps at any point of this job that is not currently covered in this video, please ask me in the comments, and I'll do a very detailed video on the part that you need or you're interested. I have a recording of the entire job in steps with great details, and I don't mind sharing that with you. Otherwise, please like or dislike the video, leave the comments, consider subscribing. See you next time.